If you found an idea that could solve a problem for millions of people, imagine how great that would be. You cannot go 10 minutes without interacting or being influenced by technology in some kind of way. Everything's changing in perceptions of what technology does. Yet 99% of us have no idea what's going on. Makers Academy learn how to code in 12 weeks or how to become a developer in, in 12 weeks, which by itself is a mad proposition. I guess I was at a bit of a crossroads with my life and my career, which I think most people are when, when they go to Makers. I'd been in a very, very good job, but I knew that basically I wanted to shift. I wanted to set up a tech startup. I call myself the serial uni applicant. I've had many jobs. Nothing I would call a solid career, apart from being a mum now. I spent 10 years in uni, didn't finish, changed careers four times. Teaching people something that really they should have learned from age five, having an understanding of the web and seeing the web as not something just to be consumed or observed, but something that you can participate in, something that you can shape. You're about to embark in a crazy, crazy ride. Right, it's 12 weeks learning how to code. These people, they put them together, you know, they, they compress everything, 12 weeks, it's really there, it's really in your face. I find that very exciting. It really is like your first day at school. You're wondering if you're, uh, you know, how you're gonna find it, are you gonna enjoy it, are you gonna be bullied? I remember just smiling a lot, just being happy, really happy to be there and ready to get going. Syntax here that I use for defining my winner method. And I'm just... It's hard, it's an inherently hard skill, and these people, uh, have put their life on the lines in a lot of cases. There's a certain amount of pressure because it is 12 weeks, so you're like, I have to know this, otherwise who's going to give me a job? We had to recreate the Twitter front end, and this took me to breaking point. Yeah, broke. Jobs get broken. Code never works the first time. It just, you know, it just doesn't. The best coders in the world know that you have to fail before you find the right solution. We just got thrown about five or six different new technologies, and like, we don't know how they interact or anything. Coding can be really frustrating sometimes because it's literally just like the tiniest thing. It's not necessarily easy to even pinpoint where the mistake is coming from. Okay, so basically everything we've done so far has been completely useless. It's like finding a different colour needle in a haystack full of needles. The course moves at such a pace, it is constantly building on the knowledge that you already have. So if that knowledge is shaky, you're just building on, on top of shaky ground. You're confronted with failure all the time. I came in to Enrique, we came in here, and he said, are you okay? I said, no. I said, this is really hard. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> and he said, Jeremy, of course it's hard. It's going to be hard. And he said, you know, how in, in, the, in your whole life, how hard is this? And I said, second only to giving birth and being a mother, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. This is hard. It's called a boot camp for a reason. It's that you have to be pushed to your edges in terms of always learning, always learning, always learning. And it's difficult. Our app solves the hunger crisis that people have at lunchtime. Joe challenged me to an ice bucket challenge and I accepted it. <laughs> there's how much sponsorship yeah. we've received. Pretty awesome. I think there's a real opportunity here to make the process of learning so much more fun for so many more people. We are building an app called Bunch. If you do a group of friends and you want to meet up but you can't agree on a destination. <laughs> A lot of us wouldn't have been satisfied if this had been an easy experience. It really was very stretching and that's what I love because your weaknesses get exposed and then yeah, you, you learn about yourself when you're stretched. I did not believe that it's possible to teach anybody how to code in that time. I was like, it's kind of ridiculous. You can create a system, code it into a computer and deliver real value to real people and change your world and the entire world as a result.